Welcome back for our second part of our math today. Today we are on lesson 1.6. And guys, this is a fun lesson, but it can be kind of tricky, okay? Once we understand what we're doing, it's going to be easier. But I need you to go ahead and really decide right now. I'm going to concentrate and pay attention to Miss Gates today because this lesson like I said, can be a little tricky if we aren't paying 100% attention. So make sure you're in a quiet place and you are ready to learn before you go on with this video. All right, so let's take a chance and or let's take a look at our objective for today. It says, I can apply value concepts to find equivalent representations of numbers. Man, that's some big words. All it means is I am going to be able to find different ways to make the same number using base 10 blocks, okay? And I'm sure you're going to understand what we're talking about in just a little bit. Let's look at our materials that we need. We're going to need your bag of base 10 blocks. You're going to need your Go Math book open to page 33. And you're also going to need a pencil, all right? So grab those three things, your Go Math book, your base 10 blocks, and a pencil. You can pause your video now if you don't have them yet. If you do have them and you're ready to go, let's move on. All right. Now, here's where I need you to pay attention, all right? Because we're going to be doing a lot of trading and things like that. So let's make sure we're paying attention. All right, listen to Ms. Gates' problem. Drew has 26 pennies. What are some ways we can show his 26 pennies? Now, the easiest way we're going to be able to do that is just showing 26 ones cubed. Now, I think you guys only have 20 ones cubed. So we're going to wait. Just wait and watch Miss Gates as I do this one. Okay? Here we go. Oh, that wasn't right. Here we go. One, two, three, four. show 26 pennies. We did, right? We counted to 26 by ones. Okay? So let's record our answer. Alright? On your page, you're going to show right here. We Do we have any 10 rods? Nope. We don't, right? So we have zero tens. And how many one cubes did we have? 26, right? Alright. So, did we show 26 on our board? Yes, we did. Now, counting by ones, that took a lot of time, okay? Who remembers from our calendar board, what can we do if we have 10 one cubes? What can we do? I want you to think about that really quick. If I have 10 one cubes, what can I do? If you said, trade it for a 10 rod, kiss your brain because you are right. So we're going to do that. Let's look at this right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Do you see these 10 one cubes? We are going to trade those, all right? So I am going to trade those. I'm going to get rid of those. I got rid of 10, and I'm going to make them into a 10 rod, all right? So we had 10 one cubes, and we just kind of went, whoop, we put them all together, and we made it into a 10 rod. All right, 
So now, let's see if we still are showing 26, okay? What, is, what do we say when we count that right? 10, here we go. 10, and we count by ones, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Do we still have 26? Yes, we do. But it's shown a little bit different, right? So now, how many tens do we have? Very good. We have one ten rod. And let's see how many ones cubes we have. Count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So we could show twenty six as zero tens and 26 one cubes. Or we could show it as one 10 rod and 16 one cubes. All right, now I know that if I have 16 one cubes left, I could make another 10. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. We're gonna make a trade, right? We have 10, and now we're gonna get rid of those 10 and we're gonna trade it for a 10 rod. All right, let's see, do we still have 26? Let's see, here we go, we have 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. We do, all right, so now we have one, two, 10 rod, and one, two, three, four, five, six, one cube. All right, so we showed equal numbers, right? All three of these things equal 26. We just use different numbers of base 10 blocks. All right, let's go ahead and flip over to the next page, okay? Ms. Kate, you wanna do it too? Okay. All right, so here we go. We are gonna look at the top of your page where it says model and draw in that box, all right? It says, these are some different ways to show the number 32. All right, so let's look at the first way they have 32 shown on your book. We see one, two, three tens, and two ones. Okay, and we know that that is the same thing as 30 plus 2. All right, now look at what they did. On this one, we only have two 10 rods, and instead of last time when I took the 10, the 10 ones cubes and put them together, what we did on this one was we took one of these 10 rods and broke it apart into 10 one cubes. So now I have two tens, and let's see how many ones we have. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So on this one, we have two tens and twelve ones. How can I tell if that is equal or equivalent to thirty-two? Well, I could count it, right? I could say ten, twenty, and then I start counting by ones, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Is it still equal to 32? Yes, but we have shown it in a different way. Now we can also write it in expanded form a different way. We know we have two tens, which is the same thing as 20, and 12 ones equals 12. So this picture, we would say equals 20 plus 12, okay? Let's look at another way we could do it. If you look, they've now busted up another 10 rod into 10 more ones cubes. So if we're looking at it, how many 10 rods do we have? Very good, we only have one 10 rod. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 ones. Oh, that's 
the lot. Let's look at how we write 1, 10, and 22 ones in expanded form. We're going to say 10 plus, how many ones did we have? 22. And we know that that still equals 32, even though it is shown a different way. All right, let's try some problems. All right, look at number one on your page. You will see the number 28. And it is shown with two 10 rods and how many ones? So we see one, two tens and five, six, seven, eight ones. Two tens and eight ones. How can we write that in expanded form? I know that two tens equals 20 and eight ones equal eight. All right, now, they want us to show it a different way. So let's look at how they showed it the second time. They broke up one of those 10 rods, right? That 10 rod right there became 10 ones cubes. All right, so let's see what we have now. We have, how many ones cubes? I mean, 10, sorry, how many 10 rods do we have? One 10 rod, and then let's count these ones cubes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Eighteen ones. And we know that one ten rod is the same thing as ten plus what? Eighteen. Very good. Now, Remember, you can find this problem at the bottom part of your page. It's number one, all right? Let's look at our last one. Look at what happened. They took this 10 rod, and now they've broken it into 10 one cubes as well. So now, how many tens do we have? Zero, that is right. Zero 10 rods, and we have broken down into ones cubes. How many one cubes do, do, do we have? Remember, it's got to equal 28, so there are 28 of them. And we can write this in expanded form by 0 plus 28. All right? So we showed 28 in three different ways. What I want you to do, I want you to work on problem number 2 by yourself. Okay, so you're going to show 35, and you're going to look at the pictures, and it'll say 35, and you're going to show it three different ways, okay? Then I want you to have your parent check your work. If you did not get it right, go back and watch this video again and see if that will help. Once you understand what you're doing, I want you to flip to the next page, which is page 35, and you're going to work problems three through six. So you're going to work problems three through six on your own and submit those to Miss Gates on Seesaw.